Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. Out in the field today to give you a first look at the My Trail Company UL3 Ultralight three person, three season backpacking tent. So, GearHeads, in about two and a half weeks, uh, myself and our man, we're headed out to New Mexico to do a 12-day trek. It's gonna be, uh, <laughs> as planned for 90 miles, who knows uh, how many long turns we'll make and expand that to be a greater distance. But uh, 90 miles up and down through the mountains of New Mexico. We'll start out at a base camp at around 6,500 feet. We'll go up and down mountains. We'll top out at about 12,500 feet. So we're gonna have a lot of vertical. We're gonna cover a lot of miles. The terrain is not really that uh, friendly or easy. So one of our top priorities has been lightening the load. Our man is going to be in this tent with two other guys. This is a three-person tent from my trail company. If you're familiar with the old Go Light, Go Light was a very well-respected, very popular brand, especially with your ultralight backpacking crowd, through hikers, people who are doing the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Trail, you know, any of those, the long trails where they're living out of that tent for months at a time. Go Light made great uh, tents. They made great backpacks. They're especially known for those. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what happened to that company or how it was reinvented as my trail company. If you know the story, feel free to post it in the comments below. I'm sure everyone would love to hear. Nothing too juicy though, okay? Uh, let's keep it about the gear. What we were running into here is we had three guys were trying to squeeze into a two-person tent, and that tent was going to weigh in at about four and a half or five pounds. So it just so happened about that time the folks at my trail company reached out to Gear Report. They put this in the mail to us, uh, and we'll go over some other things they sent, like this uh, Hyperlite short sleeve t-shirt, like the uh, hiking shorts here, which are really light, really comfortable. Uh, a variety of other things, okay? This really, I think, is going to solve our problem for the three guys squeezed together in one tent. They were going to carry four and a half or five pounds. This tent and the configuration they're going to carry it, which is the fly, the stakes that come with it, the body of the tent down below. They call it the nest. That's going to weigh in at almost exactly three pounds, okay? We'll add a polycryo brown cloth, which is going to add a couple ounces to that. So for around three pounds in weight, they're going to have a 46 square feet interior space. It's three feet four inches high at the peak inside. Uh, it's a freestanding tent that has a really neat pole configuration. I'll show you some pictures of that with the fly off where everything's interconnected. So you can't lose a section of pole unless you lose all of the sections of poles, really kind of unique in that regard. Uh, we've got a nice vent here that um, it's got Velcro. So if you don't need it, you can fold that up out of the way and close it. If you do need it, you can go ahead and open it up. We've had this set up for about a week out back at uh, Gear Report HQ. We had some torrential rains. One night we had over five inches of rain in that 24 hour period. And all we found with that was that even, you see how close this is to the ground, I had not tightened it down quite enough, I think, so there was a you know, two and a half inch gap here. There was enough water splashing up under there that we got a little bit right in here and we had uh, a little bit of spritzing on the inside where some water intruded into the interior. But that's it. I'm telling you, the day before we had about two and a half inches of rain and it was completely bone dry inside. Um, you know, if there was someone in the tent when this was happening, which it, it wasn't, then uh, they would have felt it splashing up and tightening us down a little bit. So I feel really good about this tent's ability to keep water out. Uh, you'll definitely want to check back. When we get back from our trek, we're going to post the post-trek gear review. We're going to talk about everything we used. We'll tell you how this did out in the field for 12 days in the mountains of New Mexico, okay? But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick tour because I'm pretty excited about this. With three guys, one will carry the fly, another will carry the poles and stakes, the other will carry this interior portion, the nest. It's gonna be about one pound per person. That's phenomenal for a tent like this. So why don't you come inside, I'll give you a tour of the interior. All right, folks, we're in the tent. I've got the camera down at the far end, and I want to show you a couple key features here. 
Well, when you see up here in the roof, we have three different points where you can hang things. So I anticipate probably a little flashlight, nothing heavy, and then just a little bit of something to give us light. There's two, and uh, here's number three right here. You'll see there's a gear pocket. So where we will be, I do not expect to have cell phone coverage, but for today, we're gonna let the cell phone live there. On the other side, you see this one has our bags for the tent, the tent poles and the tent stakes. So a little bit of vestibule space out here. Not a lot. If three people are in here, they're not gonna have a lot of room for the gear outside, uh, but at least there's a little bit of something. So if it's raining, can you look that? Look in the other direction. You can see there's another little kind of vestibule area there with screen that gives uh, really nice airflow and ventilation. You can see the poles. There's a loop going on one side, a big bow up the middle, and then another uh, coming up and over. So that's what we have on the inside. The my, my Trail Company UL3 tent. So I'm a big fan of the adjusters that they put. Uh, especially right out here on the end. It's very simple. Pull to tighten, lift up the tab, and it loosens. The stakes that they've chosen for the My Trail Company UL3, same stakes for the UL2, are an aluminum. You see they've got three sides to give it a little more rigidity. Pretty light. We'll put it on the scale in a bit and see exactly what they weigh. I like the, the string at the top to let you pull it out. In talking with the company, I found that they, uh, they actually debated, was it worth the wait to leave that string on? So talk about a commitment to ultralight. What I can't stand about these stakes is this top is really uncomfortable to push on. So that means you're going to have to find something to kind of pad your palm to push it in or find a rock or something to a, a big stick, something to push it in. Otherwise, it's going to tear your palm up. Another thing while we're down here, uh, a different kind of adjuster on all four of the corners. All right, to tighten the corners to pull the fly down, you grab your tab here and pull it down. If you want to loosen it, I've found it's easiest if you kind of feed the rope back through. It actually holds well enough that it doesn't want to let loose otherwise. Kind of an ingenious way that they've fastened it. This is just a little rubber area that's kind of spread apart to cause a little bulk, and it fits in a little slot right here and then that holds it in place. Pretty interesting. Never seen one like that. I think it's pretty neat. And then on the corner for the pole, the pole has a little uh, nipple on the end that fits in the wide part of this slot. And then you slide it into the narrow and it's locked in there. So uh, really neat how the corners are held together here on the UL3 tent from my trail company. Across the board, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, love to tell you more things I don't like, but we don't have any so that's it you can go check it out in the description you'll find some links to where you can go get it also instead of reading all the stats back to you on it if you have any questions put them in the description but uh, the links to those retailers are going to give you all the, the details on you know, how much it weighs and how big everything is as well please don't forget to check us out on all the social media platforms give us a like subscribe if you're watching this on youtube it'd mean a lot to me if you go ahead and click the subscribe button and there's a little bell beside it that's for notification so when we post new videos you'll know about those you can see we got a lot of stuff coming that you don't want to miss